Our story began 100 years ago, in the summer of 1921, when Melville Foster first became interested in radio. Back then, Melville would lug large radio sets by streetcar to do demonstrations. In 1924, Melville's radio show took him to San Francisco, where he made the life-altering decision to become a factory rep. For 24 years, this early radio pioneer and patent holder, who was also legally blind, traveled his territory alone by bus, rail, and plane. Melville was active in promoting his company in print and radio. He wrote this article and hired an artist to do the cartoon. His involvement in industry groups and as an ERA affiliate continued throughout his career. In the early 1960s, Melville turned the company over to his son, Gene Foster, a true visionary who set many of the core values which carry on to this day. Gene recognized the key value of employees for long-term sustainability and established an ESOP structure. Our heritage is rooted in our commitment to providing innovative solutions to our customers, principals, and partners. Mel Foster was one of the earliest rep firms to have a distribution manager, field application engineer, a website, and use hardware software tools in our business. Today, Mike Swenson heads up the 100% employee-owned company. Guided by his leadership, we have focused our efforts on having one of the largest customer-focused electronics component sales forces in the Midwest, driving more relevance and resources to companies we work with. These efforts have been supported through a number of rep firm acquisitions, now with operations spanning 15 states. Mel Foster is one of the most respected technology manufacturers representatives in the U.S. As we continue our growth and benefit from that decision Melville made all those years ago, our dedicated staff looks forward to serving our customers and partners for decades in the future.